Okay, so mainly it's set up obviously a little bit stronger in the left hand. You can see your logo Still, on your yeah. glove there. No, that's fine. I mean, that, that, that's enough. That's oh, that's okay. Could go it, a yeah. little bit more, I suppose, but you could see on there you could barely see the sort of logo on your left hand. Yeah. So we've got a little bit more of that sort of whatever Callaway ball yeah. marker is there. That, that's kind of visible there. We're on that one there. It's kind of just on the oh, side okay, of the glove. Yeah. So you've moved it over. And just a little bit. Yeah. It could go a smidgen more, truth be told. But, yeah, that doesn't feel too bad for me in terms of sort of position there. So at least it's proved from this position we can spread the club face up. So we don't want to be wrong this way as you okay. were wrong that way in terms of the grip. So it needs to be in the correct position where you're able to square the club face up effectively. Now, what we said as you come in the goal for, this is the sort of left and one another before, the big slicey one, back to a little bit shorter as you come to now, sort of popping up and that left was sort of spinning out of the way. Yeah. At impact here, now you can see your hands basically over there somewhere, chest is facing over, it's just a big kind of spin out and mm. hit it with the hands fast. It's, it's almost like a bit of a drop shot, cut shot, yeah, it's cover drive, defensive shot, when yeah. all those shots are designed to hit the ball soft and short and to the right. Well, no, yeah. look what your drive was doing I, kind I know, of thing. Yeah. yeah. So, And when you get it right, you feel the club head sort of working faster, you're putting less effort into the shot. Definitely. We've got a finish line down to your left side here, and we want to get the impression that your club is going to come through the golf ball now and win that race. So at this position here now, your hand almost slowing down and catching the club. So the impact is there, and your hands are just kind of going through. So that's a little bit more ahead than we want it to be. Yeah. The feeling for you is the hands to be kind of All back the, here, yeah. or in actual fact, probably more back here. They'll be never anywhere near that because you're so used to putting the hands so far forward. So we've moved the hands back probably from that red line there to this blue line there with your hands. So it's come back and it makes an a big inch difference even, even oh, that yeah. tiny If you just hit your driver and put the driver down there and, okay, right, move your hands forward, it's going to turn the club face a few degrees. Yeah. The problem in golf is with the speed, even swinging at 50%, the speed, your up ball's 100 mile out the last one there. So 100 mile an hour ball speed and the club face being one or two degrees this way or that way. has a massive effect. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Spin, yeah. And that, I think, is the biggest thing is actually getting the club face to feel it's catching up, overtaking and squaring up, not okay. just kind of pulling through with the hands and arms. The impact bag is obviously a good way to get the sort of sensation of that club hitting the bag and, and releasing it the club better, not sure. the sort of chest opening up or yeah. pulling with the arm and the elbows. And the couple of you there sort of went like 220, 230. You said they didn't feel like you're doing anything at all no, with any speed. The, that one I just hit exactly, because yeah. this is moving slower and this is moving faster. Yeah. Okay. Think of like a sort of a, if I had a bit of string or a bit of thread in my hand and a little bit, and then I noticed my hands, my hands barely moving. That thing's whizzing around my head like a sort of helicopter. Yeah. Head, okay. If I did this in my hand now, it just fall down. Yeah, it goes Okay. Um, or a slingshot with a whip. So the club's got to work a lot faster on the outside. Okay. Okay. The body has to in some way slow down. Give it time to catch up. If you clear your body so quickly and the club's still back up to the right here, up here somewhere, yeah, it's, it's going to come through. Your impact in the club shaft's going to be over here somewhere. The face is way to yeah. the right and it's a massive block. Yeah. Or a slice if you come to come across it. So, okay, so stronger in that grip. Okay. Get that left Maybe hand a bit yeah. more over. Logo. Again, a little bit more wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but I think if you feel comfortable there, I'm happy with that. Okay. okay? And then from there, the sensation as you're coming into impact as the club is going to overtake your hand at the moment there now you're probably just about on limit which is the sort yeah. of one towards the end there. But yeah, that's I, I a bit of a left to righter sure. but a bit not if it's too far for whatever here somewhere it's going to be a lot left to right yeah okay this one's going to probably go like that whereas this one's like Ooh. yeah <laughs> losing the ball right makes sense buddy yeah, yeah that makes good a lot stuff. of sense good stuff very very good well done